HSE fit for purpose? I, I think there are a lot of really good people working in the HSE. Yeah. Um, and is it fit for purpose? It's not the best structure to provide our health services. And, and is it fit for purpose? You see, as, as T shot, yeah. that pause tells yeah. me it's a, it's a no. I, 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 Am I right? I, 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 there's a difference between the organisation and, and the people in it, and I don't want to say anything that you know, would... And I'm not asking about the yeah, people, because we all work very hard. You so can very easily send out, send out a, a, the wrong message to people who are working very that. hard so tonight. Let's, you know? well, let's talk about the organisation then. Yeah. Separate the two like you just did. Is the HSE fit for purpose? N not, not, not as the organisation that is now. Um, we have a plan to change that, and that's it's actually an all-party plan. It's the first time we've had that. Yeah. Um, it's called Sláinte of Care, and it sets out a 10-year vision that every party in the Dáil has for health service. Yeah. And the big structural change is to kind of slim down the HSE and to have a lot more you know, autonomy, have a lot, a lot more decision happening at local yeah. level and at hospital level. It's, it's, it's the health system. Look, look at the, the figures. 10,000 patients on trolleys uh, almost in November. That's an 11% increase. That must be grim reading for you as mm. Taoiseach of, of a morning in, in December going, what? Not again. It just follows you around, not personally, but, you know, this, this country around like a smell, the, the trolley crisis. It's, it's awful to see it when you go mm. to a hospital. I'm sure you've seen them there when you visit. Have, but, yeah. so, so, again, it's just one of those things, much like the homeless thing, that you, 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 you talk about it, you seem concerned since Sincerely, but you can't get a handle on it. The, like hospital overcrowding is a particular, particularly difficult one to get a handle on. And you know, I've a, I've a, I'm a doctor. I'm, I'm a grandson. I've a, a grandmother who's in that hospital quite regularly from a nursing home. And yes. I, I don't want to see anybody spending time in a trolley. Um, I think though sometimes we can always focus in the health service on on overcrowding or sometimes waiting lists. We shouldn't forget the amount of progress that is being made. So yes. we actually asked patients what they thought, 14,000 of them, and 85% of them told us that their experience, once they got into it, their experience of our health service was actually very good. And if you think about it, people are living longer, healthier lives than ever before. Yeah. More people survive cancer than die from it, stroke, heart attack, all those things yes. are, are improving. Once they got into it. And, and that, but that didn't happen by accident. You know, that happened because the yeah. uh, government had the right strategies and policies in place. It happened because we provided the funding. Once we, once we had the funding, we, we, we started providing it again. And it's also because of the phenomenal work of, of all our healthcare professionals. So, you know, and I, do you I think, think, I think sometimes you can demoralise people by not acknowledging the progress that is yeah. being made.